Hello everybody and welcome back to the JT Unboxings channel and today you find me under ch tripod. Not the best of setups but it's all I could do in, in, the, in the 10 minutes that I did it in. Today we're going to take a little trip back in time. So we've got quite a variety of cards here. Uh, we've got Annihilator of Cybermen, we've got uh, Invade of Jadoon, some Witch and then the Scarecrow. I forgot the actual name, are they just called Scarecrows? We've got Ultimate Monsters with a classic Sea Devil, a classic Zygon and an Ood. And just so it spies things up a little bit, I got us a packet of Torchwood, the Doctor Who spin-off with He Who Should Not Be Named and the other lot. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. This was the most expensive bit, right? Are you ready for this? Doctor Who Battles in Time Exterminator, the first set of these cards. I literally remember getting these in 2006. What I have here is um, how I got these. It's, uh, I bought this guy for £12 in like an antique store. It's the actual cardboard where the magazine came in, the first ever like edition of the magazine. You can see like the cards and stuff. We've got my other packet. that This has been stuck here for like 20 years. 18 years. This was a bugger to get off for that one, I tell you. Uh, it didn't come with the magazine, but we can kind of see a little bit of what Doctor Who Battles in Time looks like. I literally remember all of these magazines. I feel like I threw them out a few years ago, which I kind of regret if I did. Um, but I literally remember all these covers. I collected these so much. I literally, I so... <sighs> That was a really cool way to store your cards. I missed that. I think I threw that out as well. You can see the variety of cards that we've got. We've got Cybermen, Quillotang, Tenth Doctors, Levine, Guard One. There's just so much that was in this set. I wish trading cards were like this again. And it was only £1.50 and got two packets in the magazine. Why, why can't times be like that anymore, you know? So I'm going to keep this packet sealed just as like part of my collection. But we will be opening all this packet along with all these other packets. And you're going to want to watch to the very end because I have a little surprise for you guys to show you. That would be very exciting, wouldn't it? So please feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And let's see what we get in these Doctor Who Battles in Time and, and Torchwood guards. Obviously I'm going to do Torchwood with first let's, let's save the best to last you know so this one is from 2006 it contains nine cards so i think we're only going to get series one maybe series two I, I think only series one was out at this time though uh of torch with cards so let's see what we get i'm gonna very delicately open this because i'm not for my wrapper collection and if you have no idea what i'm talking about I'm collecting wrappers and eventually I'm going to like make a little scrapbook of wrappers. So we want to be as delicate as we can, just like that. There is the Torchwood logo. Let's just open that a bit more carefully. And there we go, from 2006, we got Torchwood trading cards. What the hell? So let's see what our first card is. We've got a Dr. Tanisaki conversion. I watched uh, Torchwood, pretty much most of it, apart from like the last series. Um, about two years ago so i'm hoping some of these will ring a bell but uh, i can't quite say i remember that one uh we've got oh we've got him the converted version and the non-converted version we'll compare that later but these very much look like how the battles in time look like so that's a very interesting comparison to make i think it's starting to come back to me i remember th there being a cyber woman but i don't remember his involvement uh we've got martha jones what the hell that is an awesome card to have. Martha Bloody Jones. And she's conducting autopotsy. I definitely said that right. We've got Bloody Martha Jones. What the hell? Oh my, we've got Martha Jones again. Why that's such a close up of Martha Jones? <laughs> What's it with all these Martha Jones cards, guys? Are we going to get another one? Oh, it's a shiny. We've got Captain Jack with Resurrection Glove. I think I remember the Resurrection Glove. Bloody hell. Let's put him there. We've got Gwen Cooper, iconic Gwen, with Jack in the background for some reason. Um, is this going to be another shiny? No, we've got the lie detector. <laughs> some uh, machine has its own card, the lie detector, which I barely remember. Uh, we got Torchwood 1918, no memory of that. I'm assuming it's like a flashback episode or a scene. And we have a space whale. Jesus Christ, look at that. So that's it for the Torchwood one. Let's put those over there. Now let's open up Battles in Time. Where do we even go with these? Um, let's go with Invader, because this is the one that's like on Amazon, so I'm assuming it's like the least rare. 
I'm, I'm very surprised that like retailers are just selling these on Amazon. I reckon these are like 2008 or 7. So they're, they're quite old just to be sold on Amazon still. Do you guys remember collecting these cards? Because I collected them so much and we are going straight into a crystal ball apparently. Let's turn those down. Oh my god. I, I remember these so much. I, I can't remember how, I might have had the whole collection at some point, I don't know. But I can't believe we're actually opening them for the first time in like 20 years. So let's see what Invader gives us. We got Carrier Knight Flight, Mother Blood Tide, uh, I barely, that's probably like a series 3 or something, I barely remember that. I don't think these are like amazing sets compared to Exterminator and all that from my memory. Like we might get some doctors and stuff. We've got a Jadoon Trooper. And let's make these comparisons that I was on about earlier. Even though they're like separate, these are like very similar in like their presentation. We've got intelligence, agility, stamina, special abilities, and fear factor. So they carry on. I'm pretty sure that they've got to be by the same company for sure. Um, but it's just interesting to like see the little differences and the similarities as well. We got the magnetic overload with the bloody thing of the little straw. Why should I have cake? I've got my little straw. Oh, that's nice. Lovely. What, what does that do? You use this to boost all red and green ratings by a thousand. We've got a sinister woman. Okay, barely remember her. It's not the highest quality picture of her, is it? Oh, that's a nice one. We've got Dalek Sec Hybrid Chain. Look at that shiny. Apparently that's a rare. I've, I've noticed a theme of shinies being in the middle, so I might try and do like a Pokemon, like one, two, three to the front kind of thing, you know, and see if that works. We've got a Time Lord one. Uh, we've got, oh my God, happy. This is ringing a bell. I've not seen this episode in ages. This is when they were like in the New York and there was mood patch sellers. Oh, I, I barely, this is all coming. I've not seen that episode literally since like 2010 probably. I've not seen it all earlier. It's just ringing a bell now. We got Lady Four. Oh God, she's, she's a wife. No, she's the rich old woman supported Lazarus research with that amazing CGI. That's, that's very infamous. We've got a Vortex Minute Plater, close up with Jack's arm. And we have a the crystal ball that we saw earlier. What, what, what a card, eh? <laughs> I think definitely the MVP of this set though, or this pack even, is Dalek Set hybrid i love that shiny so let's move on to ultimate monsters and i can only assume that uh, all of these are just monsters we're not going to get like any humans or like you know just happy characters or the, the doctor it's all going to be about the villains of doctor who i reckon it'd be amazing to get a sort of thing let's get a sort of thing guys can we get a shiny sort of thing please manifest the existence of a shiny sort of thing in the comment section guys i'd very much appreciate it so let's see if there's any trick let's do one two three and then see if that's our shiny no we've got daleks though from tranquil repose a sixth doctor episode that is i've i'm bad i've i've seen like three stories of classic i'm gonna make my way through it at some point but uh, there's a lot to go through all right but i really like how uh, these say like what doctor they were and i'm assuming that's the episode title at the front there uh, unfortunately these are a tiny little bit bent uh, i don't know if you can see that at all but there is a little bit of like bending in this card i did get these from ebay though and they have been sealed for 20 years so i think that'd be all right uh, we've got a mummy group from the fourth doctor my friend sydney who's probably watching this video i'm assuming he knows all of these and I just, you know, wish on me. Omega's Creator. It's something I've never seen before. We've got Cryon as well. The Sick Doctor. <laughs> All these are classic. Uh, oh, we know we've got the Arachnus Emperor from the Tenth Doctor. What a lovely side profile. <laughs> One I actually know. Uh, we've got a Third Doctor, Azarxuri. We've got, is that, a, yeah, that is indeed a Sontar. Is that a Sontar? I'm assuming that's a Sontaran. Something's going on with, yep, yeah, Sontaran. It's a Sontaran. We got a, some sort of ship from the fourth Doctor. And we got a Melker from the fourth Doctor. Look at that. I knew like one of those. 
<laughs> but you classic fans, if you know, if you love your classic monsters, definitely get this set. There's still some lurking about on eBay. And let's move on to the Annihilator. One thing that I do know about this uh, set, I'm assuming it's an Exterminator set, is um, there's a really valuable card called Super Rose, and there's like two variants. I don't think I ever got a Super Rose. I'm assuming they were like pretty rare. So if we manage to pull a Super Rose in our Exterminator packet, that would just be amazing. We've got, <laughs> we've revealed a shiny already. We've got the Beast, which I think was, uh, it's in some people's like rumours to be like the final fill-in of season one, you know, series 14. Um, but it, it wasn't the Beast and it's on fire specifically. And it is a beautiful card from the Annihilator set. The Annihilator set. Oh, we got another, sh is that a shiny? I think that's, yeah, that's a, oh, that's a super rare. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. There were super rares, there were rares. And we got Cyber Ghosts, the ghosts that were becoming Cybermen in series two. We got Cave Paintings of the Devil, or the Beast, I assume, from series two. Oh, that is just horrible. Why? That's just gonna give me nightmares, to be honest. We got Dalek Shields, the shield of, of the Daleks as its own card. Oh, we got an Orton that's deactivated specifically. Okay. Oh, we got the Bloody Gelf from episode two. No, episode three of series one. Bloody Gelf. I watched that like two years ago, a year ago, and like, I didn't really mind that episode, to be honest. We've got the Magna Camp, where Rose couldn't hold on, spoilers. Oh my god, we've got Jake Simmons, I remember this. He was like a CBBC presenter. I'm so William, sorry, not sorry. Right, let's... Oh! I'm sorry, Dad! It was just so weird, like, what, what, what is he doing in Doctor Who? I remember being like that, in that episode there. It's like, that's the guy from CBBC that I watched. Well, he's in Doctor Who, what, what's going on? And his, uh, his canon name is Jake Simmons, Parallel Soldier. And then we've got a double extermination? Not from a specific episode, but I'm assuming it's from a, a new Who screwing shot. Oh, my battery just died. I, gu I, I guess I'll charge my camera. Um. We're back. <laughs> wow, I didn't think we'd do that many. We're on to the exterminator now. There is actually a little hole in it already, but I think that's just like, you know, opening from time and stuff. And I don't think it's actually like being pre-opened and sealed back up. Well, not sealed, but yeah. Um, so this is the original packet and it contains nine cards and I, <laughs> it'd be amazing if we got a super rose out of this. So let's see, without damaging the packaging, let's see what we get in this <laughs> 18 year packet. Oh, oh, psychic paper. We got psychic paper. We can place this over cards. That is amazing. I've not seen one of these in ages. It's not really even a card. It's like, what, what, what do you see, guys? It, does it look weird? So let's see what we get. We've got a fixed K9 rare from the Exterminator. A lovely, a jubbly. We got Milo. Oh, bloody much. The both of them are from school reunion. We got the wire. <laughs> okay, common. Uh, all these are from series two. We got Cyber's victim. I literally remember all of these cards. This is insane. I've no idea who he actually is in the episode, but I remember the card for it. So we got an unmasked clockwork man. We got Mr. Skinner, who's been absorbed. Corinor Diamond uh, from the werewolf episode. Okay, we got Cassandra as a human. Watch us get Cassandra as a thing next. No, we got Danny Barter. I literally remember all of these cards. That is insane. Well, no, no Super Rose. Who knows? It's, maybe it's in that other packet. And I think I'll keep it sealed for now. But, you know, maybe one day I'll be like, yeah, let's just open it, you know? So there we go. But if you remember at the start of the video, I, I cannot work around the I told you guys that we have a little surprise and that surprise is ladies and gentlemen I still have my Doctor Who Battles in Time card collection What the bloody hell, we got all these stupid stickers that have ruined the binder We got three folders worth so we got so many cards I thought I'd go for a little you know memory back in time or a trip back in time uh, Sing better days and there's even more stickers inside from the Doctor Who Adventures 
But yeah, look at all these shinies I've got. I've got Sarah Jane, we've got Time Vortex Doctor, Martha Jane's Rose, Tenth Doctor, Captain Jack. I remember all these so much. Oh my god, this is amazing. Let's, let's see what else we got. Oh, we already got a canine fix, guys. We've got a double. Oh dear. We've got a Tenth Doctor Ghost Busting. We've got Donna Noble. Tons of Doctors. Ton There's so many roses. What's that Tenth Doctor? Oh, that is Lightstorm Tenth Doctor. I don't even remember that. Oh, these are all the creatures from like the second episode of Series 1. We got so many Daleks. We've got Genesis Art Dalek, Dalek Sec Hybrid. We've got another double, God forbid. We've got an Underwater Mode? Is that even from... Is this is from Annihilator. Is that even from a bloody episode? I don't remember them going underwater. Dalek Rape, Dalek Sec, Dalek Khan. Dar we got the Dalek card. That's just on the packet. Oh my god, we got, oh there's so many, so many cards here, I love all these. We've got the Get Off Ambassador, we've got Tardis Key, we've got Weeping Angel, I love all these cards. Have I said that enough guys? I love all these cards. We've got Tooth Identification as a card. I, I just mix and match these apparently, I, I don't put them in like, you know, set release order. Now I believe that was my folder. And I believe that this is my brother's father who collected them with me. So let's see if he has a Super Rose in there. We've got Tenth Doctor, we've got Robot Spider, we've got Coffer, we've got Gwyneth. I, I'm very curious if, if we just had a, a Super Rose just sitting there for years. I know they did do like alien attacks and stuff for like the, the 11th Doctor, but I want these and I want them now. I want them from like, you know, if we're gonna go all out and call Doctor Who season one and all that for like the new era, you might as well kick it off with a brand new set of trading cards. Are these just the alien attack ones? No, nope, these are battle in time. We've got werewolf. We've got so many more cards. Jesus, we've got Daphros from the sixth Doctor. I think these are all from like Ultimate Monsters. This is the one set that we decided. To... Oh no, we've got Devastator as well. That's one that I forgot about. Uh, we've got Donna Noble. Donna Noble. Donna Noble. We've got Daffos pointing. I don't, yeah, definitely don't think that we have a Super Rose, but that is all my collection of Doctor Who Battles in Time. Do you think you'll pick up some of these cards? Feel free to let me know in the comments what you think of them, if you'll pick them up, what your nostalgia and what your history is with them, or if you just found this video randomly and you're recommended. Let me know how you got here. And I will see you in the next video, whatever and whenever that will be. Adios, amigos.